Hey, what's up everyone? Adrian here. And today we're taking an overview of Apple's newest iOS 12. Without further ado, let's get to it, shall we? iOS 12 was introduced by Craig Federighi at the Apple WWDC keynote address on June 4th, 2018. The first developer beta version was released after a keynote presentation with the first public beta releasing three weeks after on June 25th, 2018. So when I go to messages, the customizable an emoji called Memoji is not supported on the my new Apple iPhone 7. So, we'll press more. So you do have favorites and more apps down below. And we can edit. So, like I said before, so I can toggle on and off. What a shame that an emoji and emoji are not supported. FaceTime gained support for Animoji and Memoji, a customizable Animoji. A future software update will add the ability to include up to 32 people in a FaceTime conversation like this. So we can edit. When you're done, click done. Or maybe touch done. So we can add it. So type a name. If you don't type a name, click cancel. Or maybe touch cancel if you want. It just does not support. We all or iPhone 7 does not support Animoji or Memoji. Only iPhone 10, 10s, and 10s Plus and iPhone 10R. Measure is a new native AR application that allows the user to take measurements. So if I can clear it, it takes back. And when I get on the, go on the level, It also works, which was the feature originally in Compass. Another new feature is the photos. So, when I go to photos, see, look. All of these are redesigned. So, it now supports suggestions throughout for you section 
and will make sharing recommendations. So when you go to, it says, the section says for you. Which is quite interesting. So, which is the coolest thing that I have ever imagined when I take photos. So anyway, moments, people, places, categories, and groups. Now back to character. There are categories like food, animals, like comps, dogs, playground, sports, cakes, and cycling. Places like banks and Stratford, Sydney, one I don't know. People like blah 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 blah. But also, including Alan Yusuf, Alvin Hung, and then many other people. That's kind of strange. But anyway, this is the this is all I have never imagined before. So when you go to, I take a snapshot about iOS 12 home screen, and it's a little bit different. That I've never used that I never used. So anyway, the coolest feature is the notifications. So if I go to the Twitter, for example, touch it. And so you can deliver it quietly right here. And you and then go to settings or then I can tap cancel. So I can deliver the notifications quietly. And if you wanna deliver prominently, just go again. And we can prominently deliver it. The next is do not disturb. So you force touching via the control center. This takes it to settings or maybe in options. They have they have three options. So for one hour to this evening until I leave this location. All of this are the darker screen to assist sleep. Go to schedule. It takes you to settings. So when you enable do not disturb the crescent shape comes on along with the location. So you can activate manually or automatically. So repeat calls they can toggle on or off. I like calls from favorites. Silence always and let's check. Always is not checked. Scheduled. I can toggle you can toggle toggle either on or off. Do not disturb. So you can toggle your own like that. So if you if you want if you turn off. The crescent moon disappears, or the crescent shape disappears also. The stocks have been redesigned, so for example, see the the red ones, the negative ones, and the green ones are part of the ones. And it does have an integrated Apple News. So, for example, just scroll down. Man, I hate Donald Trump. It takes you to to the the images and and the letter. Does have an Apple News?
just like that. Also, the letter and the voice memos have the design refresh, and they're completely redesigned. I'm gonna go to voice memos. All of the backgrounds have been changed from black to white. And they are completely redesigned too. When you go to the Apple Books, you see the iBooks was renamed to Apple Books and the app was refreshed with the Discover tab bookstore more so then go to books if you're gonna go to bookstore it takes you to the 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 books and you notice that the font has been changed from San Francisco to the completely different font all your books library tab more to explore there you can go and so on and vice versa Another feature what I'm talking about is Safari, which receives an update to intelligent tracking programs. So, for example, if I go to the Safari, it sh maybe shares the 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 apps. Like like we used to sorry. So I'm click tap more. So we have to have a toggle via the activities. So 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 it can change to so I can switch between apps and so we can so you can toggle on or off when you're done just tap done let me dismiss that now go to the safari via the settings prevent cross site tracking the reading list so then can tap here. So it would talk so can top tap I mean the toggle on or off. The search engine I always stick to Google. And don't forget the voice memos and stocks are are now on iPads. Which there, here, and here. The maps on my iPhone has been re rebuilt by relying on first party map data instead of using map data provided by third parties. So if you just slide to the left, it just moves the map. There we go. See where I am I, I'm at home. So you can zoom in. See I'm at home just right here possibly. And and the reachability has been changed so if you just swipe it up for example it, it must go up 
to right there instead of pressing and tap the touch ID button it moves right up where it was and also the final feature like last but not least is the screen time so so you can change the screen time all right all right so, sorry the time limits set the time limits perhaps so when the time limit is reached the app is restricted so yeah so anyway guys this is Apple's newest iOS 12 thank you very much for watching links are in the description don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel favor for the video and I will see you next time.